Hello everybody, this is Stringham back to kick off round 6 for Group H. And we have got this beautiful fight card for you ladies and gentlemen. You can see it, our main event, it is Tyrant King going up against LP Gozzi. Victory for either of those two will secure a passage into the last 32 round. But before that, we have got Iron Dan vs Cudgel Booth. That's a massive match at the bottom. Defeat for either of them to will end their hopes of getting out of this group. So it's essentially a knockout match. Then we have Black Rider going up against Ur. A bonus point win for Ur and they could go top in this group. But at first we have got Shin Dominus going up against Killer Wolf. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Shin Dominus we've got Zuni Ceratops. Shin Dominus currently bottom of group H at the minute but a win will keep their tournament hopes alive, defeat and it's all over. In the blue corner for Killer Wolf, we got Super Carnotaurus Awaken Mode on 1, which has been a wild cho choice, but you'd have to say it's, it's um, been 50-50. wouldn't say it's worked, but I wouldn't say it's backfired either. But a win here for Killer Wolf, as I said, would get them in the top 4, and a bonus point win would put them level at the top. So there's plenty to play for here. Incarnators does get the first shot of the match. Okay, here comes the Awaken mode. Elemental, Fusion. Oh, but Zuni Ceratops gets the hit. Well, there goes the Awaken mode. Dino Illusion does get triggered. But the health will be halved. Ah, well. Dino Illusion getting triggered there to tie. Oh, but they do get a crit. It's a ninja attack. Zuni Ceratops will go down. And after everything said and done, despite the failed awakened hit, Killer Wolf is going into the lead. See what I mean? A mixed bag, isn't it? Right, coming in second for Shin Dominus, we've got Anki Ceratops. Well, if Shin Dominus does go out to the tournament at the group stage, which looks quite likely... I would probably put it down to the match against Gozzi where they were dominated, but they just couldn't get that finishing hit and then got a draw. That was a big moment for them. But it's still not over yet, and they're still well in the hunt. Right, that gets rid of the Dino Illusion. Ooh, and this, does this hit get rid of the Carnotaurus? It's a lightning strike. Anki Ceratops getting some hits for Shin Dominus. And yes, it does down the Carnotaurus. So we are level square. All pack, all square. <laughs> all back in. Right, now, coming in next for Killer Wolf, we've got Amplosaurus. Now, I do feel Shin Dominus can take advantage here. They've got the type advantage over this Amplosaurus. They can build a decent lead here if they can get some hits. And maybe, maybe I up the bonus point win, which would be massive for them. There's a hit. A tie bomb coming in as well. Oh, that's another hit. Another tie bomb. A good tie here would do a lot of damage to this Amplosaurus. Ooh, but Aqua Vortex has been triggered. That could be a good Aqua Vortex. That will stop Anti-Ceratops doing damage during the tie. But, so far, Anti-Ceratops is just getting hits. This is very good from Shin Dominus. Ooh, but Amplosaurus finally strikes back. But again, the type disadvantage is going to limit that damage. Okay, that, that's the tie's going to do it. The bombs will go off. Amplosaurus will go down. And Shin Dominus has opened up a good lead here. Right, coming in third for Killer Wolf. we got Packy Rhinosaurus and Killer Wolf in a bit of a pickle here. 
they do need to start getting some big hits in this match. But for Shin Dominus, this is very good. And if they can continue this momentum, they can get a, definitely get a bonus point win out of this match, which would be massive for them. It's a tie. Oh, that's a massive crit! A tie bomb as well, a lightning strike coming in. That could be that could be a huge hit for Shin Dominus. Well, but again, they were in this position against Gozzi. We know how that match ended. This match isn't far from done. Oh, that's another hit! Another tie bomb! A tie will do it. The tie bombs will go off. Can Shin Dominus secure the bonus point win? That'll do it! The tie bombs will go off. That is lethal for Baki Rhinosaurus. And that is a huge win for Shin Dominus to keep their tournament hopes alive. And Killer Wolf, well, that's a big setback. And they're probably going to have to do it on the last day and hope that other results go their way. Right, on to match number two. Right then, in the red corner, representing Black Rider, we have got Mega Raptor. Okay, interesting field actually. Both our guys will get terrain advantage on this field. Both have water types. An intriguing match, I feel this a bit. Right, in the blue corner, representing Ooh, we've got the Blitz type Spinosaurus. Now, because the Spinosaurus does have terrain advantage in this matchup, it will get the terrain hit first and then go for the two Blitz crits. So Spino will go for a Scissors hit and then he'll go for his two crits. Savvy? Badoosh. Ooh, the, ooh, that could be an interesting Dino Illusion. That'll stop at least one Blitz crit if Ur gets it. If the random number generator decides to generate it. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, that's a five. Oh, instead, the Mega Raptor's gonna get the crit. A Net Crusher, that could be a big crit. And it also stops Ur from having an opportunity to hit with their crit. Right, Blitz crit number two. Oh, really? You're going slow again? <laughs> This is the random number generator is having some drama. Okay, that's a free, so that one will eat up the dino illusion. Oh, oh it's working now. Okay, that was a six. Oh, that's a crit though. A light recovery to come as well. Big shot from her. Oh, and of course, another Dino Illusion. <laughs> okay, the Mega Raptor is on relatively low health, so a couple of ties will get rid of it without having to waste the hit on the Dino Illusion. Ooh, but it's all about the crits so far. Both our guys are landing big crits in this match. Ooh, the Spino just survived. Okay, that's a tie. It'll take out the Spino, but it won't take out the Mega Raptor. Okie dokie, coming in next for Ur, we got a Rhinoceratops. Now, this is a Rhinoceratops. I've been impressed with it, to be honest. It still has a Mega Raptor, a Dino Illusion equipped Mega Raptor to deal with, though. So the ideal scenario here for Ur would be to get a tie to get rid of the Mega Raptor and the Dino Illusion at the same time. See what happens. And it is a tie. And that does down the Mega Raptor and it plays around the Dino Illusion. So it's a good tie there from Ur. Right, coming in next for Black Rider, we have got Shunasaurus. Now the Shunasaurus does have terrain advantage. It's going to get the next hit, which is going to be a, a crit actually. So it's going to be a big hit coming here from Black Rider. 
Now it does have tight disadvantage against the Orinoceratops, but I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue because his only move is Ocean Man. I think the bigger issue will be if the Orinoceratops gets a hit. But that's a tie bomb, that's a crit block, that's a big shot from that rider. And that move remover, oh no, the Archaeoptrix charm coming in, getting rid of the crit block and the tie bomb. Good counter there from her. And they get a hit. That could be a big Archaeoptrix charm going forward in this match. Oh, a very big one. Look at this, a Thunder Bazooka. And this is going to do damage to Shunasaurus. Oh, look at that, he freaking killed it. Massive hit from a Rhinoceratops. But coming in third for Black Rider, we have got the Black T-Rex. Well, we won't count Black Rider out of this match yet because this thing hits like a truck and it's got death fire. So bear that in mind. But ooh, has opened up a really good lead here. And if they can keep this up, they could get a bonus point win, which would put them top. But like I said, don't count Black Rider out yet. And I say, how massive was that Archaeoptrix charm? Oh, look at this! Another hit! Well, there's the losing bonus points if you would. Okay, it will not be a bonus point victory. This burning dash is going to beat up the Orinoceratops. That's going to be lethal. It's even going to be lethal for my computer as well, with all the lag. And yeah, there it goes. But coming in food for... Ooh, we got Armatus. With the spectral armor. Although, given that Black T Rex is on half health, we won't see spectral armor in this match, I doubt it. But can Armatus finish the job here for Ooh and give them the victory? Oh, for Ty. The lower Black T-Rex gets, the more likely we'll see Deathfire, and that's a Magma Blaster. Another big shot from Black T-Rex. Black Rider is not beaten yet. And well, they get themselves a losing bonus point. Oh, that's a tie. It's going to the wire, isn't it? That's another tie. Okay, the death fire has been triggered. Oh, he gets it! Black Rider with a come from behind victory against Ur to take the win and go through to the last 32 round. And, well, they, it won't guarantee top spot, but a win in the next round and they will win this group. Impressive come from behind from Black Rider. But ooh, we'll get a losing bonus point out of this match, which, to be honest, is the least they deserve. <laughs> right, on to our next matchup. Right, in the red corner, representing Iron Dan, we got Stegosaurus. Iron Dan claimed a massive win against Shindominus in the previous round to keep their tournament hopes alive, but, but it's going to need to perform again. Particularly after that losing bonus point that ooh got. It does mean Iron Dan is going to have to get a bonus point win from somewhere. Whether it's in this match or their final match. Right, in the blue corner for Cuddlebooth, we have got Megalosaurus. Again, Cuddlebooth in the same boat. They have to get a bonus point win from somewhere. Ur does have the head to head advantage on both of these two. And I think Gozzy does as well. Okay, where are we? We are on the beach field, which favours wind types. But I don't think we have any. Actually, yes, Cudgel Booth has one, doesn't he? With Ceratosaurus. And that's not a good start for Iron Dan. But yeah, put it this way. Whoever loses this match is out. It's that simple. 
And this is a very good start from Cudgel Booth coming out the block swinging. Ty. Oh, the tie recovery effect there. Another tie. And a third tie, and that's all she wrote for Stegosaurus. Iron Dan on the back foot early on. Right, coming in next for Iron Dan, we got Kakarodontosaurus. Well, they're already playing catch up. And they haven't really struck a blow yet in this match. And that's going to have to change, otherwise the tournament is ended. Okay, there's a tie. It is wearing down the Megalosaurus, I will say that. Oh, that's a crit from Megalosaurus though. Can't afford to get hit by any more of those. <laughs> Back to the tie spam. Another tie. Iron Dan just can't get a hit. Oh my, how many times? But the Megalosaurus is literally dying to ties. And he gets a hit. It's 2 0 to Cudgel Booth. And Iron Dan is in real, real trouble now. And remember, Seracosaurus comes in third with terrain advantage. So Cudgel Booth is guaranteed at least one hit in this match. Still. But they're getting all the hits in this match so far. Iron Dan hasn't fired a shot. Right, coming in third for them, we've got Super Spinosaurus Awake Mode on three. That awakened hit could be key though. They can get right back in this match. The Megalosaurus has practically been worn down by times. Oh, there's another hit. Can't afford that. Okay, there's the tie. That downs Megalosaurus. But Cudgel Booth, what an opportunity here. Coming in next for Cudgel Booth, we've got Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. What a chance for a bonus point win here. I and Dan not enjoying this tournament this year. I mean, last year they had a really good tournament, but this time it's just not happening for them. But it's, they're still in this. It's still not over. But again, they got to get hits. Oh, finally he gets a hit. Badoosh. And a Strufio rush as well. That'll, hurt. That'll help. Right, that's twice. One more for the Awaken mode. Ooh, that's a crit. And another Dromeo rush. This could be big for Iron Dan. I don't think it'll be lethal, but it will leave Acro on really low health. Like that. Which means an Awakened tie will finish it off and give Iron Dan... Well, it won't give him a chance to get an Awakened hit on the Stratosaurus because of the terrain advantage. Uh, it's not ideal. Oh, it doesn't get a hit anyway. It's an ACT rocket. With the half health. This might actually be the bonus point win for Cudgel Booth. And remember, again, Ceratosaurus gets a, gets a hit. Well, this is it. Oh, they do get the hit. Now, I don't know if that will get rid of the ACT rocket. Okay, coming in third for Cudgel Booth. We've got Ceratosaurus. It's got terrain advantage. It's getting the next hit. It's a paper hit. If Iron Dan can survive this up hit, they are still in it. I Again, I'm not sure if the ACT rocket has been negated. I think it has. Right, let's have a look. Does he survive this hit? Yes, he does. Okay, still in it. Oh, not anymore! It's Cudgel Booth's victory. And that's it for Iron Dan. They are done in this tournament. And Cudgel Booth takes the win. But it might not be enough for them either. So we could have a double elimination here. 
Well, we'll have to find out after our main event when we look at the table. Right. Speaking of main main events, it's main event time. Okie dokie. In the red corner for Tyrant King, we got the big bad black T-Rex. Victory for Tyrant King secures a place in the last 32 round. A bonus point win, and I believe they will be level on points with Black Rider. In the blue corner for Alpy Gozzi, we have got Terry. Victory for Gozzi also secures a spot in the last 32 round. Defeat, and they could be looking over their shoulders. But I feel like we're in for an intriguing main event here, folks. At least I hope so, anyway. <laughs> Oh, I haven't jinxed it. Ooh, that's a tie. Both of these two do have death fire, but it is Terry getting the first hit off. They also both have Crimson Flame as well, which is annoying. Nice and easy one. <laughs> and it's a massive hit from Gozzi to kickstart the match. Oh no, cookies. Defense boost activate them as well. Good hit from Gozzi. Oh, that's a tie, but remember, this black T-Rex, it has death fire. Oh, that's another tie, and the Black T-Rex is going to survive, so we could, we could see Deathfire here. And we do! It's Tyron King goes into the lead! A massive Deathfire! Black T-Rex is cooking! Oh, no! Well, I think Terry actually, to be fair, done more in this matchup than he's done in all the other matches in this tournament. <laughs> Still gets killed. Right, coming in next for Gauzy, we've got Super Ceratosaurus Awake Mode on 4. Now the danger here is if the Black T-Rex starts to get hits and Tyrant King builds a lead. So Gauzy has to be wary of that. Does need to get the next hit here just to get rid of this Black T-Rex. It can't use Deathfire anymore, but it can still hit pretty hard. Okay, there's a tie. But Black T-Rex did its work. Right, coming in next for Tyrant King, we got Super Eel Carcaria, Awaken Mode on 3. So, the Eel Carcaria will get the will get the chance of an Awakened hit before the Ceratosaurus does. That could be key. That's a crit, but the Dino Stuffer is going to put a stop to that crit. Right, that's one speech. And it's Ceratosaurus getting the first shot here. Attack boot's going to activate as well. Not too much damage done, though. Okay, that's a tie. Oh, Ceratosaurus gets the next hit. It's a crit, but the Eocarcaria will survive, so it will get that awakened chance. Whereas Ceratosaurus has to wait. Oh, it's a tie, but that's okay. Ty I'll give Tyrant King another chance. Another tie. Oh, but Gossy gets the hit. A crucial hit. Eocarcaria misses his chance, and now it is awakening time for the Serato. And a tie here will give Gossy a chance to hit the Ankylosaurus with an awakened hit. Oh, he gets the hit anyway. It kind of wastes the awaken mode there, but oh well. <laughs> 
He had the chance. But he still but he does hold the lead. Right, coming in third for Tyrant King, we've got Ankylosaurus. Can this Ankylosaurus finish off the Serato? Or can Gozzi extend his lead with that Serato? Ooh, going to be extending that lead. Ceratosaurus maxed up in attack boost as well. Look at that. Good shot from Gozzi. But Tyron King does get the hit and does finish Ceratosaurus off. And overall, Tyron King... I think, yeah, Gozzi's got more hits in this match, definitely. But Tyron King's still well in it. And if it weren't for that death fire, Gozzi would have quite the big lead, actually, in this match. Right, coming in third for Gauzy, we got Super Verizinosaurus Awaken Mode on four. That Awaken Mode could be key in deciding who wins this match. Tie. That triggers the Quake Saber, and we get to see the Quake Saber. Tyron King getting big hits in this match. Oh, hello, that's a Giga Rock Hammer. Massive hit from Tyrant King, and all of a sudden. Oh, he almost freaking killed it! Where did that come from? Out of nowhere from Tyrant King. They're on the brink of the win. Ooh, but Gozzi gets a hit. That's a, that could be a crucial hit. It secures a losing bonus point for them, and it's all down to this. And it's Tyrant King getting the hit! I mean, I'm just going to botch this because he's going to win anyway. I'll, do, I'll just do this bit. And this bit, just to be sure. But it is Tyrant King's victory! From, well, out of nowhere really, because Gozzi was getting more hits in this match. Tyrant King is getting big hits. And I think that is what made the difference here. And Tyrant King booking their place in the last 32 round. And Gozzi will get a losing bonus point as well, which will help them get in the last 32 as well. Right. That was, an in that was a fun main event, wasn't it? Let's have a look at the table and we get in the session. Right, that's Group H, ladies and gentlemen. So Black Rider topping it with 17 points. Tyron King in second place on 16 points. Both of these two safely fruit of the last 32 round. Then we have Gozzi in third place, almost there. As long as they get at least a losing bonus point against Killer Wolf in their next match, then yeah, Gozzi will go for it. Then we have Urs still in fourth place, that losing bonus point proving vital for them. We have Killer Wolf in fifth on 10, still on the 10 points, still well in the mix. Shin Dominus giving themselves a real chance. In 6th place, Cudgel Booth on 7 points. And because of that losing bonus point that Ur got and the head-to-head -head that Ur has over Cudgel Booth, that does mean Cudgel Booth has to win their next match 3-0 and hope that Ur loses and Killer Wolf loses. And Cudgel Booth's next opponent is Black Rider. And then poor old Iron Dan out of the tournament and the first casualty of this group. So yeah, interesting, interesting your group H. So these two spots still up for grabs, although I do feel Gozzi will get third spot. And the, the main matchup here is going to be Ur going up against Shin Dominus. A win for Shin Dominus, provided Killer Wolf loses, would put Shin Dominus through on the head-to-head. -head. A victory for Ur takes them through, and at the same time would knock out Cudgel Booth. Shin and Shin Dominus and pretty much Killer Wolf. And Killer Wolf play out the Gozzi in the final round as well. So again, victory for Gozzi would knock Killer Wolf out. A win for Killer Wolf would put them in the top four. So there's loads to play for in, in Group H. And that is it. We are on to the final round of group matches where we will find out which of our sparkling 32 combatants will make it through to the knockout rounds. And until then, ta-ta.